Jesus himself said to his disciples, I come not to be served, but to serve. That is the impetus for us all. Stay tuned. Welcome to another episode of Red Couch Chronicles. I'm Danielle. If you remember from the last time we met, I shared with you that we are in a four part series. And the name of that series is How to Survive the Holidays as a Single Christian Person. And the last time we met, I gave you tenant number one to be sure that you are encased in accountability. Whatever it is that you're doing, whoever it is that you're talking to, wherever it is that you're going that you have encased or surrounded yourself among people of like minds, people who are walking the same walk with you, who are walking the walk of purity, and who, when they're getting in relationship, will begin with an end in mind. Today, we are going to talk about tenet number two, and the way in which you can take that longing, that loneliness, that feeling that you're missing something off of yourself while you go through the single holidays. And like I shared in the beginning of the video, it is our call, it should be our impetus because it is our masters, our Lord and Savior, Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ, to serve others, to make sure that we are the hands and we are the feet of our Lord and Savior. And one of the things I've noticed in my 10 years of being a single Christian woman, the time or the times rather when I put myself out there to help others are the times when I'm not necessarily focusing on myself. When I'm being the hands of God, when I'm being the feet of God, when I'm being the mouth of God and I'm teaching and I'm preaching, those are the times when I forget about my woes, when I forget about my loneliness and I become God's vessel. And so today, very quickly, if you could just think about everyone or every organization that is out there during these winter months, during these cold months where people need soup kitchens, where people need jackets, where they need coats, where they need blankets, where they need a word of encouragement, where maybe homes or shelters may need someone to go help them clean up or tidy up or to make the shelter as as comfortable and as homey as they possibly can for the people who will be in the need of their services, that is when and that is where you pitch in. I remember one year ago, um, and I share this with you, I did, or I, I rather, I should say I hosted a retreat for some single Christian women and it was marvelous, it was beautiful. Um, as a matter of fact, I may come back and, and share and do a video about that retreat um, that we had summer of 2015. But one of the things I remembered was about that retreat was this. Any person who signed up to come to this retreat had to also sign up to cook a meal, whether it was breakfast or whether it was dinner. And they also had to sign up to give a word of encouragement to one of the other ladies who were in attendance at that retreat. And let me tell you, it was a beautiful thing to see women all like-minded, who had taken a vow of purity, who had said, Lord, I surrender my single life to you because I know once I seek you first, everything else will be added. It was beautiful to see those women serve each other, to cook a meal, to serve each other, to, to speak to each other, to edify, to speak life into their sisters. And I bet you this, and maybe one of these days I'll make a video with one of them visiting here on the red couch. To see them do it, it was beautiful because in those moments, guess what? They weren't thinking about themselves. One of the things as the hostess of that retreat that I did was every single woman who, woman, excuse me, who 
came to that event that weekend we were there friday saturday and sunday up in the mountains big canoe of georgia and every single woman who attended that conference as they came in and set their bags down i washed their feet yes i washed my sister's feet and in doing so i said to them I may be the hostess of this event, I may be the speaker, I may be the owner of the business, but that does not mean that I'm bigger or better or more important than you because I can sit at your feet and I can wash your fears, your tears, and your worries away. Beloved, my single Christian women and my single Christian brothers, whatever you do this holiday, Make a point to go out and serve someone. Make it a point to go out and ask, volunteer at an organization. Is there anything that I can do for you? You want about getting a bang or a bigger bang for your buck? Take some of your very same accountability partners out with you. Formulate a group and say, here, here we are. We are a group of brothers, we are a group of sisters, and we are here to help. I promise you, when you begin to do the work of God, and when you begin to have the heart of God, the orphans and the widows and the lonely and those who are less fortunate, I promise you, because it's his word, it is written, seek me first and everything else will be added but not only that because you're not doing something to get something you're not helping to receive but doing so will fill your heart with so much love and with so much joy and with so much pride to know that your daddy is looking down from heaven at you saying good job my faithful servant so much so that it will take your mind off of your loneliness and it will take your mind off of being single this holiday season. Beloved, I thank you for watching. Next week, we, or rather next time, we will speak about the other point of taking away that sting of being um, lonely or a single Christian person during the holidays and that word that I'm gonna share with you next time is refocus. Until then, be well, and I look forward to seeing you again soon.